folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads and long delayed by COVID-19 we have my April Owl Crate unboxing. It finally arrived! Unfortunately I remember nothing about what the theme was supposed to be or anything about the box so let's see what's inside. As usual the first thing that we have is the spoiler card with gorgeous artwork purple and the theme is full moon magic for april 2020 so that's gorgeous that's absolutely lovely but let's not spoil me so what do we have inside we have this month's pin which is a gorgeous looking owl so i'm assuming that has something to do with this month's book uh, Ooh, we have some cloth now what's this Oh, is this? It's a tote bag. I haven't had a tote bag in a little while. And it says, the moon is a loyal companion. And it's all black and white and very, very pretty with faces of the moon. Do you think this month's book might be like werewolves or something? I don't know. But, gotta love a tote bag. I totally use tote bags all the time for my shopping um, and just in general. So, yay, tote bag. Love it. Okay, this looks like it might be a notebook of some sort. It is indeed a notebook that says on the front, With freedom, books, flowers and the moon, who could not be happy? A quote by Oscar Wilde. So that's pretty and there's a definite black and white theme going on this month. It's all lined paper and a notebook. can always use another pretty notebook. So that's going to be very useful. Hmm. What's this? Ooh. It's a box. And it's an Owlcrate exclusive 300 piece Mooney puzzle. <gasps> Mooney as in Harry Potter? What does it say on the back? It doesn't say. Okay, it's by, it's artwork by Italian Art. And so the tote bag was a Shanami inspired. Um... What else? Yep, the uh, puzzle is inspired by Remus Lupin. So that'll be fun to do. I might do that soon, actually. So that's an awesome a little puzzle there. What else? Ah, there's a canvas bag, which I believe is also a Oscar Wilde quote that says, a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. And inside said canvas bag, which is giving me to mention flashbacks. Hmm. If I can get it out. Ooh. Oh. It's like a moon mobile. Like oh it's like faces the moon but in wood and twine that's very cute it's like very cute so that is by paperback bones and it's a bamboo moon phase banner to add some celestial vibes to your wall decor that's very cute okay there's also a box which also looks like it's got moons as well. I'm getting me. Ooh. There's. Oh, it's a little bracelet, little bangle with a moon on it. Seriously, this book better be about werewolves because I am getting such a moon vibe. <laughs> There's so many moons. Oh my goodness. So, that's very cute. It is very cute. It's sort of coppery, which I think I can get away with. It's not gold, which is not my colour, um, but it's more coppery maybe. So, um, yeah, cute. And that is a Winterwood inspired Crescent Moon bracelet. I haven't read Winterwood yet, but I believe it's sitting on my shelf. So, yay. And then I think, yes, what I have next is the book. And the book is called Bone Criers Moon by Catherine Purdy. So, Bone Cries Moon is not about werewolves, as far as I can tell. Um, it's gorgeous. Like, this this blue is beautiful. And it's got these gorgeous 
golden sprayed edges and of course a letter from the author but what from what i can tell it's about the bone criers um fairy of the spirits of the dead either to the heavens or the underworld but the curse of being a bone crier is that you cannot have a one true love the cost of being a bone crier tries the life of your one true love so um it's about a girl who's about to take her place as the head bone crier but to do so she has to do a ritual where she kills her one true love and then the guy his father was murdered by a bone crier and he's after revenge shenanigans ensue i'm assuming there's some sort of moon crossed love um but yeah so not about werewolves despite the sheer amount of moons <laughs> in this box but yeah, so that is uh, Bone Cryer's Moon by Catherine Purdy that will be going on my TBR. A very pretty, pretty book. Such a pretty book. So the only things left in the box are now the newsletter, which of course has the artwork on it and always has interviews and why, uh, you know, the exclusive outright cover and how it's different to the normal cover. Um, it's got puzzles, all that kind of stuff, and recommendations. So that's the newsletter. And then the spoiler card for May, which is probably running away as well because international postage right now. Not great. So the theme of the May box is Rebels with a Cause. Ooh, I do like that artwork. And every May box will include a graphic novel from Oni Press. Two books in one box. That sounds awesome. I do like the sound of that. I do love a good graphic novel. The last time I got a good graf a graphic novel, I think, in an outright box, it was the Tea Dragon Society, and it's cute. So, so love. Oh, I'm looking forward to Rebels. Rebels of the Cause. I I think I'm gonna like this box. I really hope I like this box. But that is my April outright unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um. I'm looking forward to doing the, the Mooney puzzle, I think, the most. But, yeah. Good box. Glad it's finally here. And I will see you all again really soon. Bye.